everybody, welcome back to Smash Games! Woo! Woo! Deserves a woo! <laughs> Today we're playing Business Walrus. It's a very fun game. It's basically Cards Against Humanity meets Shark Tank. You will understand as we go along. Uh, some things to know. Uh, the Business Walrus is the person that's gonna be deciding who has the best pitch. We're all going to be pitching to whatever Business Walrus, whoever is the Business Walrus for that round. Mm, the um, Mr. Wonderful. Mm -hmm, the Mr. Ooh, Wonderful. The Daddy Warbucks. The Daddy Warbucks. The, the man with the big bucks, or person, or woman with the big bucks. Uh, some cards that are important to know, the must-haves, when we pull a must-have, the must-have must be in our pitch. There's some very fun things on these cards. Um, we have the ask, this is what the business walrus is going to ask us to pitch for. We also have some walrus surprises, just some crazy things to make our pitches like really pop. Um, <laughs> <laughs> after every round, the business walrus will give whoever they thought had the best pitch one billion dollars. Look at that. Just a and casual one. Bill. That's a lot just of real money. Cash. Just a billy. Cash B. <laughs> <laughs> the first person to get three billion dollar cards wins. Who feels the most walrus today? Anyone? Ooh, I am bloated. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I, I don't, I don't want to be the business person first. I'll be the business person. I saw you opening your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and he Just, said, no, you cannot. <laughs> okay, you're the business walrus. All Mostly because right. oh. I don't know how this game works yet. I'm gonna pull the ask, which is the question, <laughs> and the walrus surprise, which can either be all of you or an individual. And this one is an individual. Okay. And I'm gonna give it to you. Ooh. I'm gonna keep it a secret. And here's the ask. A means of reforming troubled youth. Ooh, interesting. A means for reforming the troubled, troubled youth. So just for everyone at home, I'm handing Chance my cards because of the blue card I have. So I, I have to do something extra. There's like a surprise that only I have to deal with. Okay, thank you. Yes, thank you. We're gonna I wonder reform the troubled if, like, youth today. In this game, like we like personalize it for like for the walrus. Like I'm thinking about what chance would mm -hmm. like. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. Yeah, definitely. Because yeah. I want to win a billion dollars. I will uh, start my pitch. Wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Are you offended? It was just so quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Hi there, Mr. Walrus. Thank you so much for uh, seeing me today. Now I know that we're trying to reform the troubled youth, and I've got the perfect idea for you. Now there's one thing that everyone loves, or I should say at least most people love, and that is Margaritaville. Now, the best way, in my opinion, to reform the troubled youth is to give them a path to reforming themselves and bettering themselves. And what better way uh, than to get a job and a job bartending at Margaritaville. So this is what I say we do. We go to every troubled youth we can find and we give them their own personal blender. We're gonna teach them how to make the best margarita possible, right? Because now they get to go across the world, anywhere, whether it's Japan, California, Uzbekistan, everywhere people <laughs> love Sorry. margaritas. Yeah. And if they haven't tried it, you get to introduce it to them. So you get to provide for yourself, for your family, you get to better yourself. I've you heard enough. Mm. Give mm -hmm. the troubled youth access to alcohol. Hell yeah. <laughs> Who's oh. next? Oh, I'll talk to Mr. Walrus if you have a second. Uh, absolutely. Could I pick your brain? Yeah, go uh, for it. How are you? I'm great, thanks for asking. You're welcome. How are um, you? I'm good, I'm just really worried about the troubled youth. Okay. <laughs> and I have something I think that'll help the troubled youth. I wanna, I wanna refer to um, some source material, Peter Pan. <laughs> the Lost Boys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The troubled youth, I am pitching to you for $1 billion, um, an island for the troubled youth, okay? okay. Where they get to have, they get to go uh -huh. and be the Lost Boys. Uh -huh. And it is, and, and we give them a treasure map, okay? And we give them this treasure map because it gives them a goal. Right? What's wrong with the troubled youth? They're bored right. and they want to do stuff because they don't have anywhere to put their ambitions, mm. right? Mm. Um, let's put these, let's give these youths a treasure map. Let's give them their own society. Let's give them their own world and let them, let them run free. I'm asking you for your imagination for the troubled youth. So we're buying an island? So yeah, so what you're doing is you're buying an island and it's kind of like a sum, like a summer camp. And we'll just... One would say, yeah, it's not like isolation or like putting people away. It's nothing like that. Okay. It's a fun game for the kids. Okay. I have a I have a question. Yeah, yeah. If you don't mind. Your question. Yeah, no. oh, maybe we have the same question. Yes. I just want to know, have because uh, you know source material, you know Peter Pan. Have you ever read Lord, Lord of, of the, the Flies? Flies? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, 
I did not use that source material in my pitch today. I'm only using Peter Pan. Um, so I don't see why that's relevant. Okay, great. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. I've read the book, but I don't see why it's relevant. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Walrus, are yes. you ready for my pitch? Yes, I am. Mr. Ooh. Walrus, the, the youth of today, they're overstimulated. That's true. That's part of the issue, That's right? right? And what the youth of today need is a place to put their stimulation. Yep. They need something to do with their hands. Mm. They need something <laughs> to, to hold on to when the energy, they want to reach out and do thievery. Let them do <laughs> something else. Mm -hmm. I propose we give every troubled youth a sort of cylindrical spiral, uh, a cylindrical spiral that can go down staircases and can be in their heads. Like a slinky. Uh, maybe. Uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Something similar to a slinky, but I'm talking about a cylindrical spiral myself. <laughs> okay. Um, and you know, because there's just so much kinetic energy and potential energy within a cylindrical, si a cylindrical spiral um, that I think will allow the troubled youth to put their stimulation into that so they will stop the thievery. And also you can, you, you, how can you cry when you're looking at colorful cylindrical spirals? Mm. That's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. Questions, I, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I love what you're what you're dealing with here. I love the I love the invention. Um, question: It feels like troubled youth from like ages five to eight. <laughs> oh, so I didn't like, walk me there through. was an ageist on the panel. There is oh. <laughs> okay, so there isn't. Okay, I, I just mean youth goes up until I think seventeen or eighteen. Right. So, um, what do you do with the sixteen-year-olds, the Gen Z, like middle schoolers, who maybe? The slinky isn't that stimulating for them. Uh, again, it's a cylindrical spiral, <laughs> um, and anyone can enjoy a cylindrical spiral. I mean, uh, from age could they? out of the womb <laughs> through 17, then we can also give out adult cylindrical spirals to <laughs> adults, and then we can also have elderly cylindrical spirals. Every time you say cylindrical spiral. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just I, so you so to be clear, the pitch is a billion dollars invested in cylindrical spirals. Yes, I've you know. made a yeah. decision. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Let's put the youth to work. Let's give them blenders. <laughs> what? <laughs> I want a margarita. <laughs> yeah. Let's, oh, if they're gonna make me a margarita, <laughs> yeah. give them a margarita. Uh, the margarita. surprise walrus card was that uh, Chance got to pick which. <sighs> Must have I used, and he chose blenders, and luckily margaritas were right up his alley. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Gave me exactly what I wanted. Okay, if that's the kind of game we're playing, let's go. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm wait, not putting them on an island. I've seen that movie what with was, Ewan McGregor. My must have was must involve a treasure map. Uh, wow. And I didn't get that far creative after that. <laughs> yeah, sure. Mine okay. was must be a blatant ripoff of something else. Wow. Oh, a slinky. Yeah. That, not that was really funny. Slinky. That was okay, so, so there you go. funny. Oh, thank you so much. And now who would like to go next? <laughs> Oh, oh, he gets a billion dollars. Wrong. Oh, you get a billion yeah. dollars. Oh, wow. Uh, Jesus, yes, that's so much money. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I am the walrus now. <laughs> I'm the egg man. I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cute little product that makes everyone smile. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cute. This is mm, for one. People on their phones too much. It's making everybody sad. Mm. Everybody's comparing each other. Whoa. We don't, Hot take. <laughs> wow, you're really oh. interrupting today, Angela. Wow. So sorry. I, I thought we were all in the room. <laughs> yeah, we didn't even go in. I didn't even get to the pitch. I didn't even do anything yet. Excuse you. Sorry, that seems so me. Wow, no. Angela, you're really interrupting today. No, everyone should know. I downed an energy drink right before this, and it's showing because every time anyone says anything, I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, people on their phones too much. We need to get away, and you know who gets away? The Amish. So, I am creating a theme park called- Sorry. <laughs> that was a late swap. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm creating a getaway experience called Amish Land. And it, uh, who is the mascot? Two drop dead sexy Amish men named Isaiah and Amos, who take you through <laughs> the adventures of Amish Land. They take you, uh, you'll be turning butter, 
with the with the sexy Isaiah and Amos, and you'll be uh you'll be uh uh, uh weave, weaving, you'll be weaving baskets in Amish land, and you'll be uh um you'll be uh milking cows in Amish land. <laughs> I really that visualized is it. Bound to make people smile. Who's not gonna be smiling when you're? In Amish land. Uh, I, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, seeing as this is some sort of theme park. Yeah. Um, Amos and yeah. Isaiah. Isaiah, they can only work with one customer at a time. I totally get what you're saying. Okay. Uh, so Isaiah and Amos. <laughs> I don't. I was like, I Isaiah, Isaiah and Amos are are more. Uh, it's kind of like Disney. It's like the Disney princes. Oh, so yeah. There's so a like bunch a character. of characters. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a weird. And yeah. they like ghost you as <laughs> you're like doing the these Hollister things. Hollister guys, like the Hollister guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're outside. faceless. It's, yeah, yeah. It's about the ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you've got yeah, the, yeah, you've yeah, got yeah. the you've got the body. You've got the face. Oh yeah, that's an Amos right there. So that's Amos. Except less racist than Hollister. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Yes. That's very All types good. of colors. I Isaiah and Amos can be any color. Okay. Okay. Before I start, Jackie, yeah. I want you to know, um, if you pick mine, I'll take care of your cats for free anytime. Wait, I'll, wait. I'll, um, you can't bribe. You can't bribe. Yes, I can. No, you can't. I'm telling you I can. Spencer? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, quite literally telling there. you I can't. Spencer, she's bribing. <laughs> hey, Jack. <laughs> Spencer, tell her not to. <laughs> That's funny. I just want you to know, like, uh, cat sitting costs a pretty buck, and I know you go on tour because you're a really talented actor. And that. next time that happens, I'm there for free, okay? <laughs> I grew up with cats. I love cats. Just letting you know that. Okay. Oh, everyone needs something to smile about, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and this is a problem we need to fix. We need to fix. I'm pitching huge um, smiley faces put on all streets. All streets? <laughs> all streets, okay? They're huge. <laughs> and when I pitch you how smiley this face is, you can do nothing but smile right back. It is the biggest smiley face. <laughs> I know, you're creaming your pants. <laughs> it's huge. And listen, they're really bright. Um, we're working with our scientific team and they're bright and they're so squishy and fun that maybe a little gas leaks out, but it doesn't matter because it's a huge smiley face and they're everywhere. It's like if you were, if it's like you, it was an engineered image to make you happy. Um, so that's what we're pitching and we, pitch, we put them everywhere. It's just like how, art like just art makes people happy when you hang things up we're doing that in a major way all mm. over mm. um for just a quick billion dollar bill mm. so it's kind of like um art installations yeah we're putting installations everywhere yeah oh, cool. that might leak that might leak gas but also Ooh. create happiness mm. okay what are the um what are they made out of what's the material gas <laughs> 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 they run on gas and electricity and um it's like this squishy stuff, mm -hmm. sugar, um, oh. serotonin. You put that all in a box <laughs> with a little concrete. <laughs> boom! Um, question, yeah. um, what days are you available? All. All, all okay. days. Yeah. Morning and evening? Morning and evening. Good to know. The Amish, the smiley faces, and Noah. This is uh, something I think everyone has always wanted, especially those that want to be cheered up. How wonderful is Frosty the Snowman? Imagine if you and your friends had your own magical friend that was always available, especially during the winter when people get seasonal depression. What if each of us got our very own magical snowman that would sing and dance and play hockey and other things? <laughs> I don't remember what he does in the movie, but I think he's got a button nose and it's so cute. So I suggest everyone on the whole earth gets their own Frosty the Snowman to grant their magical wishes. You don't even know what his nose made out of. I know, it's a button. Eyes. It's a carrot. No, bitch. it's a button. No, no. it's not. He his got... eyes are buttons. Oh wait, does he have a button nose? No, it's and carrot, it's carrot. Nose. I think it's that? a button. It's carrot. I think you're thinking of Olaf. Guys, we're um, gonna, listen, the editor's are gonna the put up a picture. Eyes? No, the carrots aren't eyes. They don't. Then what? I know there's a carrot on the. Snowman. I think the most important the thing is whether or not I care whether it's a nose or not, or a button or a carrot. And guess what? The best part is the Frosty can get a nose job anytime. You can. So you're saying that with seasonal depression, you want uh, us to give, you want to provide the world with a cold friend? I want to provide the world with a magical friend that wants nothing more than to make you happy. But they can't warm up their spirit. 
Well, I don't know if you remember Frosty, but I think he makes a fire at one point. I don't uh, know. Hold. Frosty the Snowman was a jolly happy soul with a corncob pipe and a button nose. Boom. Two eyes made out of coal. Boom. Button and nose. Where the f am I thinking nose. of this carrot? No. Olaf. Yeah. You're thinking of Olaf. All I'm saying, Jackie, cat sitters cost up to fifty dollars. Well, a day. this is my pitch. <laughs> is that your question for me? No, I'm just coming right in. There. <laughs> well, uh, thank you so much for these pitches. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I am going to go with the one that made me smile the most, which was this installations. I love art. Wow. Okay, sure. Was I a bribe? Had, no, I would never. <laughs> my wal my walrus was a surprise. Was if the business walrus had palms, he, which is so sexist, she certainly would not refuse any efforts to grease them. Sweeten your pitch by slipping him, her, a bribe of some kind. And what was? And my must was must continuously leak gas. <laughs> That's why you kept bringing up the yeah, gas. I was just saying. I was like, what? Yeah. Slip the gas. Oh, what? Uh, my must have was that it had to involve ice. That's oh, okay. All. Mine was that it had to have two drop dead sexy Amish brothers named Isaiah, Isaiah and Amos. Oh my God, wow. that was so specific. Wow. Yeah. You did a oh, great geez. job with that. I thought that was original. I was like, he's getting weird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, 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 you know. I think it's yours. Oh, mine? Mm -hmm. Perfect, all right. Feels good. The Ask, a product that makes menstruation fun. Oh. <laughs> Is that? Can't wait for you to pitch off of this channel. <laughs> and this is for one entrepreneur. Okay. That's for you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So uh, I want to I wanna hear about a product that makes menstruation fun. I've got a billion dollars and I want to invest it. Okay, I got it. Business walrus. <laughs> um, I'm so excited. My product, I'm going to give it to you plain and simple. Mm -hmm. No no sugar, no, no stalling. Not mm -hmm. any at all. Uh -huh. Siege Team 6. When you turn 50, you are automatically enrolled for Siege Team 6. What is it? It's a team of six people that come in with all this siege equipment to f over everyone who's ever wronged you. You get three people, three people on your list, not everyone, three people on your list, that you get to f up their lives. It comes with a battering ram, comes with TNT, comes with uh, the, ja the jacks, jacks, Spike strip? Grenades? Spike strip. Oh. For some reason, I thought they were jacks. That'd be so interesting. Oh, that's funny. They come with jacks, spike strips, <laughs> combination of the two, and uh, you can f them up. I have, a, I have a question. So are you suggesting that in order to make menstruation fun, we give the ability for anyone menstruating, they, they can just swat someone? Yeah. What do you think menstruation is? What? What do you, follow up question, what do you think oh. menstruation is? I know what menstruation is. Okay. This is the best video Wait, ever. Say, <laughs> say what menstruation is. It's too. when you're getting rid of the ovaries. You're That's exactly it. what it is. And you I know you're menopause? confident because you changed where your hat is. That's true, what? Do you think menopause? Is that what you're thinking? Oh, about? I was thinking menopause. Mm. I was. Mm -hmm. Of course, My I favorite like this. about this is but it from the people who brought you two Amish sexy people <laughs> yeah. Yeah. creating their own Disney. But I'm sitting by you. Wait, no, 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 I'm sitting by violence. It's when you're 50, when you're start, you're not menstruating anymore. Now you're signed up. It's not. For it's, Siege Team 6? It's now you're signed up for Siege Team 6. What? Wait a minute. When you're That's, done, then uh -huh. you're signed up for Okay, so it. Then what, you what that pitch means over. is if I were to be menstruating, it would make it more fun yes, to think about the future. Once you get it. When I yes, get a SWAT. Exactly, yes. exactly. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying and the If I get through this, I'm gonna get my SWAT team. So oh, in the that, first okay. 50 like, years, no support. <laughs> you don't get the Anybody up until you're 50? Well, it's better than now. So all the hormonal shifts, the pain, yeah. the um, like, yeah. just the cravings are just yeah. all gonna be satisfied by a future <laughs> teen. Yeah, remember? <laughs> yeah, sure, absolutely. sure, sure. Yeah. I'll go. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. How do we make menstruation fun? Tell I'll me. tell you how we make it fun. Um, I know this is gonna shock you, but our scientific teams have created a way for when someone starts menstruation for them to get a puppy and it appears. <laughs> they get this puppy for the duration of the menstruation, six to nine days, depending on who you are. Um, and then sometimes, hold on, look at this. <laughs> sometimes, um, so you'll have that puppy and that puppy's like adorable, really fun puppy that we've designed. And then sometimes maybe the puppy transforms into a horny senior citizen during the full moon. But <laughs> <laughs> This 
puppy's so cute all the time. And then every once in a while when it's a full moon, the puppy does turn into a horny senior citizen. But you're not in pain because the period is the puppy. So it just like switches off. What and do I know you mean the period is the puppy? What do you mean a SWAT team comes in 15 years? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the menstruation becomes a puppy. Okay, and the only time you have to look out is when it's a full moon. That puppy is a horny senior citizen. So how many? You're getting a new puppy every month. Yeah, yeah, but then when your menstruation's done, that puppy goes away. What? So it's the best part of having a puppy, where you get it's it for when you a couple lose days. It? No, you get it for a couple days, then it gets to go away for a bit. And it comes right back. Okay. Uh, okay. Question. When you say the puppy goes away, does the puppy die every month? No, it's the same puppy. So it's like seeing an old friend. So the puppy is perpetually a puppy? Until on the full moon, it's a senior citizen that would like to have intercourse. That's what I said, the science behind it is, is crazy. So where does the puppy go when it's not with the people? Where does the period go when it's not with the person? You're right. No, <laughs> The puppy goes inside you? The puppy. Or down the toilet. Science. <laughs> <laughs> Do you flush the puppy? Okay, I'll flush? explain it. Okay. We have a team of drivers. They pick up the puppy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to get into details. Okay, this I'll explain it. We okay. have all right drivers. Preserved. This is subsidiary. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll get into details. I didn't want to bore it, bore it, mm -hmm. uh, bore my wall. Wrist. Bore my walrus. Mm -hmm. They want to bore my walrus, but mm -hmm. we have a, a, a big bunch of trucks and they'll just pick up the puppy mm -hmm. and then they'll drop them back off. Uh -huh. You know, that's very intriguing. Um, and I like what you're talking about. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Um, I guess it is uh, my turn. Well, yeah, if you want this, uh, this bee right here. Right. Um. <sighs> mm -hmm. Oh, I love this. Uh, what, what's that thing called? The thing, what's it called? It's kind of like a mouse trap. What's it called when you flick a little marble? It's like a root, what is it? Rube, Rube Goldberg. A Rube, oh uh -huh. my goodness gracious. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Walrus, for saying that. Mm -hmm. My product for the period time is a Rube, what is it, Rube? Rube? Rube it's Goldberg. It's named after a person. Rube Goldberg machine. So the way mm -hmm. it works, once the period begins, that sets off the Rube Goldberg machine. So what will then happen is the, 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 the uterine lining will drop into a little cup. That Once little the cup will then topple the over and it will spill and into a tiny ice luge. Okay. Then the ice luge, it will, because the uterine lining is warm from the inside, the ice luge will, the luge will slowly melt. I'm gonna stop you here. <laughs> Maybe because I, was that she couldn't stop. <laughs> because I've been trying to figure out what yeah, you want to ask her. Like, you can ask her if you'd like. Is that your I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> well, can I finish? Oh yeah, I'm oh. so sorry. Oh sh. Okay. Well, the spoon will drop, and then the balloons will appear, and the and the balloons will explode, and there will be confetti everywhere. The well, end. That was the end. Okay. Yes, thank you. I was going to ask a question, and then every time I had a new one, and now I can't even put it all together. It's a ice luge. You, it sounds like a great idea. Thank you so much for that pitch. I have to choose between when you turn 51, yeah, you get the power of the Seeds state teams, yeah. of a SWAT team. Yeah. Yours was a magical puppy that turns into a horny senior citizen that will be taken away by a team at some point in a van. Rough, rough. And yours is some version of a chia pet. I don't know. That's what? Because what, the seeds Goldberg grow. Mach machine. Okay, a Rube Goldberg. It's a Rube Goldberg. It's a Rube Goldberg machine. It's a Rube Goldberg. It's a Rube Goldberg. I, you're right. I, I don't know if I was listening. Um, okay, I'm gonna be honest. I I don't believe in magic, so I don't think your product is worth investing into. I'm so sorry. I don't believe in full moon werewolf puppy magic. Uh, between the two of you. Good Lock. <laughs> I don't know what I mean by that. You know, um, I really do enjoy the idea of uh, just really holding on to this thought that, yeah. you know, in the future, maybe right. maybe that could help you. But what I think might be more helpful is something immediate. And the only immediate product yeah. that I believe might help would be some form of distraction. And that was distracting. So I think you win the billion dollars. Yes! I'm going to be honest. That was earned. Mm -hmm. Yeah! That would, it would distract me from my pain. And honestly, it does sound fun. I, you see a lot of things happen. A lot of yes. things. And the bees can go through windows. It was a lot. What a journey. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank God. <laughs> but thank you all for your pictures. Okay, what was your walrus? Okay, surprise? as you have noticed, the business walrus is an ideal physical specimen. Yes, noodle. And he respects <laughs> those who are similarly committed to maintaining an impressive figure. Prove you are built for success by flexing very hard for the entirety of your pitch. My must was must be incredibly difficult to assemble. Okay, it's my turn. Mm. Here we go. Something that will save your you and your spouse's sex life. Mm -hmm. This is for all entrepreneurs, the business, the uh, walrus surprise. Mm -hmm. The business walrus is extremely religious and such. She is curious about the faith of others. Please begin your pitch by revealing, oh, I didn't think it would take this turn this way. Please begin your pitch by revealing whether you believe in God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's talk about people's sex life and then open with your beliefs in God. Uh, walrus. Hey girl. Couples specifically, they need spice. They need to change things up, okay? The reason Adam and Eve and Eve ate the apple was because she needed a little bit more spice in her life. Mm -hmm. So my product is a pebble, okay? It's a pebble that goes underneath your marital ring um, that each person in the couple holds on to at all times. This pebble, similar to Jesus and that all he has done for us is magical, okay? And this magical pebble will allow your partner to switch bodies with the nearest animal, okay? Because sometimes- what? It's very important to spice things up, okay? Um, so some, so, so sometimes, you know, maybe we want to be humans together, babe. Ah, oh, ah, oh, give me that body, yaddy, yaddy. And then they look outside and they see a hummingbird. The both the couple can then look at the hummingbird, point their pebbles at the hummingbird together, kaka, and then they both. <laughs> become hummingbirds together and they can um, buzz around as those little birdies do, flap around and, you know, visit all of the things. So um, that's my product for you, Walrus, and that was divinely put into my brain to bring into this pitch today. Um, yeah. Can I, can I ask a question? <laughs> do, do you mind if I ask a quick question? Sure. And the, the couple always, both change and also both change into the same animal? Yes, because otherwise it would be bestiality. Okay, that's, I'm just making sure. Yeah, and I wasn't gonna go there, so I'm um, oh glad that you brought that yeah, up. Yeah, you did that. I hey, well, didn't. I'm just wondering, I don't know if a zebra and a hummingbird should be together no, no, as well. No. You know, I, I don't think, I, I, I guess I just have a question on conception. Um, so if two people are having sex mm -hmm. as hummingbirds are they and they get pregnant, uh, when do they turn back into humans? A good and, development question. And if they turn back into humans and they are pregnant, w is it gonna be a hummingbird baby or is it gonna be a human baby? It would be a human baby. Did you not follow that? Yeah, it would be a human baby. So, I mean, you Eat can magic. turn, it's magic. So it's just, it's something to spice up the moment. Right. You know what I mean? It's Magic, a, yeah, which it's notoriously like, God loves. Did you watch, did you watch <laughs> Brother Bear? I did watch Whoa, Brother Bear. Whoa, don't, I'm gonna cry. I I'm just play. saying. Okay, they're not the walruses, I am. Sorry, I just, he was trying to fight me, miss. I wasn't trying to fight you, I was just miss, trying to find out how. he was how... trying to fight me. <laughs> it's just, I've heard enough, I've heard enough. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Uh, I would love to go next. Uh, you know, in the wise words. Amazing <laughs> grace, how sweet. Okay, now you just want to sing on camera. Sound. You just want to sing on camera. Let you just want to sound good. I can we sing that? I think we can. Uh, I think that's it feels like it's public domain. It's definitely public. It feels like it's free. Are I know you, God exists. You're not going to let us harmonize? <laughs> A rich like me. I just wanted the opportunity. I'm not actually. <laughs> I'm not I'm not a wow, I that's incredible. Believe. I was like, <laughs> I just didn't. Is she ever gonna do it? I can't. Never actually. in my life. Because lasagna is real. Okay, now you're now you're hitting me as an Italian as well. Ricotta. <laughs> Amen. Pasta. Amen. Rigotta. Marinara. <laughs> Basil, oh, yeah. mozzarella, parmesan. Yeah. Oh wow. Right. <laughs> and what's sexier than noodles and meat sauce and cheese layered on top of each other? What is sexier? Are you asking? Are you asking? <laughs> I'm asking anyone. So here we go. Here's I mean, my pitch. Yeah. Is lasagna flavored condoms? 
Wow! Right. Get there, get there, right. keep going. Wow. We'll keep going. Wait, wait, land this plane. No, land no, this plane. No, put your hat up so we can see your eyes. We all Let's need. We all need. Amen. We all need, <laughs> Amen. We all need more babies. We need more condoms. Hallelujah. And we need them to taste good. Yes, sir. That way we don't get no diseases or nothing or get no more baby accidental babies. I'm much more hot. And hey, you gonna be using a condom if it's lasagna flavor. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, I have a question. As what? someone who's very, uh, very religious, that's I was, of course, taught what all religious people are taught in school, and that's abstinence only. So, uh, <laughs> do you think that this con- abstinence only? No, you can get married and have sex. I didn't know that. So, yeah. thank you for filling me in. Yeah, on that. Paul says it in First Corinthians. No. I've got the best billion-dollar idea okay. to help improve everyone's sex life because. Oh, yeah. Many times, uh, uh, let me just open with this, by the way. Just like Ariana Grande says, I believe God is a woman. So I just want that to be said. God is a woman. Anyway. Because you're a woman, dude. Because you're a woman. I think you're God. Okay, now he, I think it feels you like he's, I feel like he's pandering a little bit. Uh, you know what? I don't just believe in one God. I believe in multiple, just like the Greeks did at one point. Anyway. Here we go. My product is something that you have never had, and that is truly an amazing finish to a sexual experience. Because yes, it's I've great. Never had them. Get ready for this. Yeah, Angela. Get ready for this, walrus. You know, sure, having a good cum cum is nice, but what is better <laughs> than both partners getting to finish? Well, that would be a celebration afterwards. And what is better to know that there's a celebration than having backup? Dancers, that's right. The moment that both people have reached their finish, their complete, their happiest moment, you, yes! Lights come on, dancers, disco ball, it's great. That's how dancers go, right? Something like that. They hand jive. It is. This sounds like amazing. Everyone's loving it. You guys cuddle and you watch the show. They're With dancing the dancers? for you. Oh. They're dancing for you. Both of you, you did such a good job. And then they're out. Quick in and out backup dancers. And the best part is every time they're different themed. You know, maybe this time the backup dancers are in like futuristic outfits. Maybe next time they're like doing like 50s. I don't know, maybe they're popping and locking sometimes. It's up to you. I just have one. Oh yeah, go ahead. I think we have the same question. uh, I have two questions if you'll allow me, miss. Oh, please. Make it run on. First question (laughs) is, do you refer to you reaching completion with your uh, partner as cum cum? Yeah, that was my question as well. <laughs> well, in the presence of God, which I feel around me all the time, <laughs> I prefer not to curse. And for me... You said cum cum. You said cum cum. I don't believe <laughs> cum cum is cursing. Okay. I don't. I don't at all. All right, great. Cum cum is worse than any word that I've ever heard in the <laughs> English language. Was that a question? Um, I, is sorry. cum cum not the worst word you've heard in the English language? Technically, it's not a real English word, so no. Oh, the backup dancers! Are they waiting and watching in mm. the room, mm. or is there surveillance? Well, How do they know when everyone finishes? In personal experience, and what? others, usually in movies and such, when I've seen in media, as well as personal experience, as well as life. When you come, come. Just like Ew. on a roller coaster, I you raise your hands and you scream. It's so much fun. I've never had a very quiet experience. Are you saying that's the signal? The signal is, the, the, yes. Everyone going, woo! And it cues like a line of rockets to come in. Uh-huh, exactly. Okay. How'd they get in the house? I'm not even gonna start. Yeah. Okay, listen. I love lasagna flavored condoms, straight up, straight up. And I think it's the can... best. I'm giving you two, but no. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can expand. I think we can get like a lube line too. You don't have to glow. Wow. You don't have to glow. Oh, okay. When my must have card to, I'm sure everyone's surprise, was not using the word cum cum. It was just having backup dancers, and I apologize. <laughs> Um, mine was must cause you to switch bodies with the nearest animal. Mm. Wow. Wow. Mine was must feature a piping hot tray of lasagna. <laughs> so the condom wait, was piping wait. hot. I oh. didn't give consent to the condom being hot. <laughs> <laughs> piping hot. That sounds like it's too bad. Late. That it's sounds too late. unsafe. It's too late. That sounds scary. It's, 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 hot. it's, hot. it's, it's hot. hot. It's hot. It's hot. Piping hot. Ooh. Take You're away right. the Take Ooh, away the that's Steaming. Take that's away the hot. And it's, it's, it's going to be, you know what? Cold, you don't want cold lasagna. You don't want cold I'd condoms. Rather cold, fail, hot, I'd rather fail. I'd rather old people. 100 degrees, 100 degrees. Let me speak. 
Let I'd me. rather people have sex as hummingbirds than put on hot condoms. They're not hot. It's piping. It's just piping. The flavor. Hot. It's like it's like piping. It's like oh, nacho cheese, like a oh, fiery fiery okay. Doritos. Uh, okay. You got it. Wow! Woo! You just got a billion dollars. I did, I did. I kind of go so close. By saying this sex is like, like nachos. But my hummingbirds are cool. That's <laughs> crazy. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Could you imagine two guys on the golf course going, how's your wife? Ugh, oh, we're just, we're fading away. You know, you should, have you heard of that pebble you stick in your <laughs> pebble you stick in your d I you did. That you don't stick it in your dick. No, no, no dick. That's, a, that's it's called, it's what is that thing? That, when it passes, the stone. Oh, that's a kidney stone. A kidney stone? That's not what I, I didn't pick look, a kidney look, stone. Look, look, we each have a, look, we all have a billion dollars and we're going to have to solve this. Yes. Okay. So, we all have a billion dollars because we all have amazing ideas. Of course. So, I think what we should do now is we need to bring in a celebrity business walrus. We are about to bring in a tie-breaking walrus. Spencer Agnew, get in! Come on, you got a seat right here. Back Come on in, get like right here in the middle, oh, my yeah. guy. Squeeze on in. Come on in. Oh, not, oh. Well, you I'll smell good. good. Well, actually, yeah. What, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? Is this pepper? No, it's a... Uh, oh, you do smell good. Yeah, I, 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 I got a new fragrance. Okay, guys, uh, as, as the, the business walrus, I'm going to be making the final decision. Mm -hmm. That's a good smell. Um, yeah, it's uh, distractingly good. Okay, so for as, me as the business walrus, I, you know, I've got some kids. Um, <laughs> oh. And, you know, sometimes sometimes they've, they've encountered death. They've encountered death oh, these kids. Mm. And I need something that helps me, the parent, explain death to my kids. Mm. Oh, I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought we were like, do how do you bring kids back to life? Yeah. And that was going to be a lot more I'm difficult. Like, I said, well, I have the product. <laughs> uh, and I am going to need a catchphrase. Oh. That's my big ask. A catchphrase. Okay. Wow. A catchphrase. Uh, I love a catchphrase. It this... says right here, I get goosebumps at the mere thought of the words, eat more chicken. You know what, Walrus? Uh, do I have the product for you? Okay. What better way to explain death uh, then to really just get a, a big perspective, you know, like a macro perspective, mm. to really see life and what it is and how you should enjoy it. Because what better way to talk about death than to talk about the beauty of life? So this is what I suggest. You and your children all board a rocket ship. You go into orbit, right? And when you're in orbit going around the Earth and you get to see this beautiful blue marble we have and you get to enjoy all the life on Earth and you look out the vastness of space and you see how it's cold and dark and dead and there's nothing there. You really get to have just an introspective experience and there, imagine you with your twin sons, both with <laughs> red hair and freckles. Those are the Amish guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isaiah and Amos. Mm -hmm. Looking out that little porthole on your Soyuz <laughs> spacecraft and you say, look, how beautiful Earth is and how fragile life is and at some point it's gonna end, so remember, Eat more chicken. <laughs> what? That's your catchphrase? That's our catchphrase because, uh, you know, beef is a heavy polluter, so everyone should move towards poultry, I think. If I may ask, your invention is just a, 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 a jaunt into space? Oh, more than a jaunt. Uh, a journey that will forever change the perspective of your twin redhead freckled children. Okay, I don't want those kids. Uh, <laughs> okay, I, I'll think on that. Um, Angela, you, you were excited. Yes, I really love my invention. Mm -hmm. Okay. From the people who brought you puppies, <laughs> menstrual puppies. No. <laughs> and what were my other ones? Smiley face and Smiley, smiley face, face installation. That leaks gas. That leaks gas. That leaks gas. <laughs> Oh, and Bring don't forget you. Prison Island. And Prison <laughs> Island for teenagers. Bring you. No. <laughs> Dangling mad. Uh, what? Sorry, give me a fing <laughs> set. <laughs> this is all a part of the pitch, by the way. He's, he's a plant. He's a plant. <laughs> You're a plant. <laughs> I'm, like, sorry, I'm sorry, what, miss? <laughs> from the people who brought Not you. Again. Starting from the top. From the people who brought you menstruation puppies, the installations, and Teenager Island. Bring you. Teenager Island. <laughs> <laughs> Dangling. Good. No. Dangling bad news. <laughs> oh no! Dangling bad news. Okay, ready? Your kids. Here's this is what. Okay, so 
I, me, this person who's created this business, I used to run a princess party company. Not me, Angela, the character I'm playing right now. Mm. I used to run a princess party company where we would get princesses to go to birthday parties. and We work with a lot of great actors. It's a great job, right? And the princesses come to the party. They can also dress up as like Spider-Man or whatever you want. My pitch <laughs> is you have to tell your kids about some uncomfortable stuff. Sometimes it's easier to just get Elsa to do it. Mm. Sometimes it's easier just get Spider-Man to do it. So you hire us, they come in, they come in hanging down from the ceiling. And your kid's like, whoa. Already your kid's mind is like being like blown, right? Because your kid is like, wow, the world can all, it's just the world is full of fun stuff. Death that's exists. Yeah, exactly. And that's where we take that back door and we go, also, shit hard. And here's, here's death, right? And then we fly them back out. Um, so. That's I know you awesome. have zero questions. But. Do you have a catchphrase? Of course you do. Let does. it go. <laughs> Holy <laughs> sh! Whoa. Love it when Spider Man says, let it go. Yeah. After telling me it my grandma. It really only died. works for Elsa, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> did y'all did y'all wanna follow did y'all wanna follow that? Hell yeah, brother. Mr. Walrusy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I have a product. Did you say Walrusy? I did. Okay. Of course right. I did. Thank you. I know who I'm talking to. What I'm proposing is that we create artificial eggs that have a yolk inside them. Yolk, 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 yolk inside them. You tell your child, hey, the outside of this egg, this shell, this is your life. Inside the egg, it's your soul. And then what happens, you crack it on the table and the yolk, 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 it spills out, the soul leaves the body. When the crack, when the egg is cracked, that means that is death. Easy to understand, mm. can't put it back together. You, even if you try, try to resurrect it, you can't do it. You know why? The crack kills. Mm -hmm. That's the catch. That, that was, was good. That was good. I would have cracked shit. it over my kid's head personally. <sighs> I love the taste of soul personally, yeah. scrambled. Hey, everybody loves to taste the salt. Okay. Yeah. Chance? Mr. Business Walrus, uh, I'm <clears> looking <throat> for a billion dollar stake at 0% interest. <clears throat> Sick. <laughs> Cauldron. It's the app. Okay, here's what it is. Parents can download this app. Don't give me that face. Parents looking. can download this app and call a witch, an old haggard witch, <laughs> to their homes, okay? This witch, magic, right? We've talked about it, it exists, it's real. Magic, the witch brings uh, a rodent or some small animal no. and performs her her little <gasps> sacrifice thing. Oh. The kids get to learn about death really easily. Real fast. Real fast, right there. The parents are like, this is what she just did. <laughs> and there's, there's, uh, there's a lot of things that can kill you, um, but this witch is not one of them. And the witch can like talk about the anatomy of things, um, and the magic of things. Like Postmates, but with witches like and rodents. Postmates. <laughs> but she bring, but you with have the rat, Roman, you just rodents. get the witch. Do, and, uh, does she bring her own paper, sorry, I'm interrupting. No, go ahead. Does she bring her own paper towel to mop up the, the rat? She has, a, she has a rag. Okay. She has a rag. Hag's got a rag. <laughs> Hag's got a rag. <laughs> <laughs> um, and That's not the catchphrase. No, the right? catchphrase no, no, is, no, witch no. please, oh. tell my children about death. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Damn, these are some good catchphrases, except for yours. Except for mine? That was amazing. Oh, oh wow. But not super applicable. Which please teach my kids about death? That was great. What was your catchphrase again? The crack kills. The crack kills. That crack was kills. that was bigger picture. It, that that had, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. we're talking about death, pretty yeah. big picture. In parallel opportunities. Mm -hmm. Yours? I uh, eat more chicken. Yeah, I was no, hungry. No, yeah, yeah, no, I, I get it. Um, then Angela. Let that, go. Yeah, no, that was that that su that surprised me yeah. most of all, yeah. and I think your concept is the one that I would invest in. So, Angela, I'm giving you the investment of one billion dollars. And with this a billion dollars, we will bring princesses to bear bad news to kids everywhere. Yes, thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, sharks. Well deserved. Well deserved. Well deserved.
What, take, what, uh, what would my money? Yeah. Take mine too. Take Can it. we all invest? This sounds like a seven billion dollar idea. That feels like you could also get, have them teach them about like birds and the bees and stuff too. I low key had this idea once where I was like, if if parents, this is so dark, but I had this idea once that too, that, that uh, if a parents didn't want to tell their kids that they're getting a divorce, they send a princess to do it. Oh. Wow. But do they say divorce or do they like make up a you different? You just explain it oh. in the terms of like a Like, oh, they're going to live in separate that. castles. Movie or okay. So your daddy That's has to go horrifying. to the castle with a new princess. The bitch princess. <laughs> the, the with bitch With the secretary princess. princess. Yeah, with the Check saggy it. titties. I got walrus on walrus. <laughs> saggy titties. So I, what were y'all's cards? Oh. oh Oh, oh, sorry, I just mine had to yours. involve orbiting the Earth at 20,000 miles an hour. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did that. Yeah, yeah. you did that. Mm -hmm. Mine must be hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a good entrance. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mine was must come in a shell that you have to crack open. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. Must involve a haggard old witch. Uh, <laughs> you have the craziest there that was crazy. so Yeah. Oh must God. be hanging from the ceiling. That's yeah. pretty nuts. Uh, I got Walbers on Walbers on Walbers. Hey. Wow. A Billy, a Billy, a Billy, a Billy. Oh my gosh, speaking of a Billy, we love you a billion. If you want to see us play Business Walrus one more time, maybe more times, let us know in the comments. If you like this, let us know. If you didn't like this, let us know. Engage, baby, we like that. <laughs> also, everyone try to smell your screen right now. Mm -hmm. We're going to waft Spencer towards you. Yes. Just let us know. What, what notes are you getting? Yes. What notes are you getting?